and Detective Slipowitz. You know it's all on the radio how arrests were made on all those murders. I meant to congratulate us, Mr. Futrell. I guess someone was doing some real detective work while you stayed busy harassing me and my friends. I'm sorry you took it that way. I want to hear you say you harass me. I want to hear you say that me and my friends are not suspects, which Detective Andrew Sipowitz might find it hard to believe since he thinks we're all a bunch of low-life niggas. All right, Lewis, you made your little speech. You're done now. No, I'm done when I say I'm done. I'm telling you, you're done now. I want to hear about George Washington Carver again, you ignorant cracker bigot. Excuse me, what's your business here? This is Mr. Lewis Futrell, Lieutenant. He was questioned on that Sloan matter. He was cleared. So your business here is finished. You know, I'd love to take it with you one-on-one -on -one sometime, man. And you don't have your gun and your fire hose and your badge. Well, let me give you my card, Sipwitz, huh? thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Futrell. You can leave now. You're letting you work in a big house now, huh, boy? You can leave now, Mr. Futrell. Yeah, I'm out of here. Goodbye. You busy tonight? I got no big plans. Hey, Zipowitz, uh, I got your message. You found it. You, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, come on in. Oh, thank you. 